Tim, you're in a sl short sleeve shirt that's inside out. It's not. Turn around. It's inside out, Tim. Your fag tag is on the back. No, it's not. Well, turn it inside out. What's it look like? Okay, just show. Sure. Give me a baby. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so uh, obviously we are at the sprayer. Mr. Tim is uh, doing his job of greasing the sprayer all up because we are getting ready to use it. Um, just doing, as you can tell, Tim's in short sleeves, so that means we're getting ready to put on nitrogen. I am getting, um, I got to get some nitrogen stabilizer for this, but we're doing just basically a preliminary uh, overview of the sprayer. I may have to go out like this guy here. We're missing a, we're missing a bolt there. That's got to get fixed. Uh, just before we head out into the season, because we don't want to have a sprayer that isn't correct going into the field. Uh, Timothy has been complaining a little bit about these. We keep ripping the ears off of these things, mostly out on the ends. I think there should be a guard on this particular model, but there's not. Um, I broke off this bell for the foam and I'm going to have to go get another one of those. So I'm just going to make a list of parts uh, so that we do this right. Just going into the season has got to be done right because I'm really, I'm not anxious to get started just yet, but I'm going to do it anyway because uh, an early start means an earlier start for me getting that chrome baler in the field. Right, Tim? Yeah. That means that we're going to be making money instead of uh, spending it. I'm tired of spending it. I'm tired of spending it. And, uh, you know, uh, last year we didn't get a, a very early start of putting nitrogen down. It was really difficult because my driver quit me. He had to go back to his day job. Is it broke? Well, just grease the shit out of it. We can always buy a new section. Yeah, we are getting some wear on this thing. This this sprayer now, I think I bought it in 08, right? Yeah. I've had it a few years. I really enjoy this sprayer a lot. But, of course, I have the big sprayer over there. So, the probably this sprayer is doing just as much as it always did. It's just the... Uh, I've gotten more ground, so... We're using the big one to make up the difference. Even though last year we didn't use the big one that much because I was driving truck. So anyway, I um, do have some adjustments that need to be made. I need to shorten this up here a little bit because it's not closing tight enough against that side. So I got this lopsided, lopsided boom latch. So I got to fix that. Um, but yeah, for the most part, just going to go over this whole thing here and uh, start putting parts on. Timothy was here yesterday working, putting new uh, wire ties where it was necessary to put new wire ties. He used the heavy duty black ones. I will show you what he used. Um, I give up on the, the cheesy small ones. Um, it's very important to keep these wire ties or everything that you have here wire tied because if you don't, it just doesn't work properly. So I gotta go find my parts that I have in the other sprayer and see what I need to go purchase that I don't have. So I'm just gonna, cause I know I've got them stored in the other sprayer. There's really nothing in this one, uh, which is bad practice. I need to have a good set of spare parts in the, uh, I, I need to have a good set of spare parts in the sprayer, uh, on both sprayers, because you know, you run into fence rows, you you hit the ground, you, you do things you're not supposed to do, and you know, and shit happens. And I have uneven ground, I have, uh, rough terrain at times and uh, hey don't forget to grease this pump. I did. You did? Okay. Did you grease the drive shaft? Yes. Cool. You did good. Um, yeah. Did you grease underneath there with the pivot? I'll bet you didn't. I didn't see that. <laughs> I knew it. You did it today, buddy. You did it today. Uh, did you grease this tractor? Because it's very important we grease the front end of this tractor, which you haven't done today or yesterday, so you're going to have to get on to that. Don't forget the axles. Um, do the uh, hubs on this sprayer too? I believe there's grease zerks on them. Well, maybe not. Maybe they're on the inside. I know there's, there's usually a grease zerk there someplace. But anyway, yeah, so that's what I'm doing, and I'll get back to you on some of the things that I need to replace on here when I get them to replace. Okay, so I'm having trouble with my K 
catches here. Not only that, I think I sheared off one of those rubber things on the other side. You see that? It's missing. It's missing over there. But anyways, uh, I'm going to have to come up with a rubber or plastic block to put on the other side. Uh, anyway, what's happening with this one is it's not coming close enough. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a plastic block. That's the problem. The block is missing. So go in there and see if there's any of those plastic pads. You remember those white plastic blocks? Yeah, see if you can find those. But that's not what I'm doing right now. Right now, I am tightening up the... This, this lock nut here has drifted apart. So, with this one here, not the one at my feet. Anyway, it, it's drifted apart, so it unlocked and, you know, it just, it just moved the way it wasn't supposed to go. And, of course, that changes the whole dynamic of the sprayer or the boom it won't even come close to here and then you gotta fight with it which you know I'm sick and tired of fighting with this thing Ugh, even though this is not the sprayer that I use most of the time this is one my dad runs and soon to be Timothy because well he's gotta learn how to do these things anyway at least that's what I say I don't know maybe he has a different opinion but too bad Ugh, if he wants to arm that's what he's gonna have to do is learn all the aspects but to be quite honest with you I didn't start spraying until I was 30 something I hated the job I absolutely 100% hated it now anyways well what I'm doing is I'm gonna have to put this thing down it's pretty simple I can't even well maybe I can mount it here I don't have my tripod for some reason it's gone missing um, it's just gone missing. So while Tim is looking for the uh, plastic pieces, I'm pretty sure that this one here is going to just marry right up perfect. You take a half an inch out of that thing, that, that brings it right to where it belongs and whatnot. There's quite a bit of adjustment that I can make here. So, what I do want to do is right here. Ready? like that and that should do it okay. hey Tim I want you to close it up so Tim's gonna close them up real quick did you find them perfect just what we're looking for we'll use those self drilling screws and we'll cut them right put them in and I'll show the YouTube and world how we do that because what it's got to do is it comes down it's got to land on top of that perfect Drop it down, let's see what happens. And all the way down it goes. That landed good there too. Come on up. Excellent. I may be able to tighten them up just to see here more. But uh, anyway, I'm going to have to work over there. Go ahead and we'll cut those. You shut it off. Yeah. This block is missing. I don't know why. Ugh. Yeah, it's got some wear to it, but right there, that block is missing, so I'm just going to make a new one out of that plastic that Tim just came up with and screw it fast. And that, my friends, will be how we fix that. It's going to take two of them. We'll double them up. Okay, so everything on this sprayer is back to normal. I just wanted to clear that up. I do need to get a wrench on here and tighten that up. I do need to order or go pick up I do have to get some parts, but for the most part, I have to put the uh, the foam marker boot or the foam foamer part of it back on. And I broke that off of there, and you just can't go get that thing. You have to go. You got to get it from Hardy. So anyway, the next thing, probably tomorrow, I'm gonna have to go get foam marker. I might get that yet. To nah, I don't have time today. But I'll be getting foam marker tomorrow. We're going to be filling that up. And then we're going to start spraying nitrogen in the next couple days. Or maybe tomorrow. Probably tomorrow we'll start spraying. Oh. <laughs> if you like this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. I can't believe I forgot to say that. But I'm a little tired. I haven't been sleeping too good lately. Um, I think the weather change and everything is kind of compiling on me. Uh, just haven't gotten... I haven't gotten it all done yet, and, you know, winter hasn't finished up yet, and it's like 70 degrees out here right now, but 7810 is ready to rock and roll, and that's that, so, like I said before, please comment, rate, and subscribe.